So, hello. Yes, your highness. She is the girl I told you about. Hmm. I've seen her. I feel so much pity for her. What a beautiful girl. My dear, you are welcome to our family. Thank you, bro. Where are you from in this kingdom? I'm from Umwali, in Umungoli village. And which family to be exact? My parents are late Mazi and Uriako Maduka Okoro. Hmm. Maduka, Maduka, Maduka. Is this Maduka in any way related to Chiadi Okoro? Yes or no? My father was the elder brother to Chiadi Okoro, who died just a few months after my father's death. Oh, I see. And uh, are you also related to Mazi Obiako? He's my closest relative. Oh, it's a pity. Oh. Hmm. Honorable, oh, are you aware about the facts and um, the family she has mentioned? Yes, it will. I know that the mother died during childbirth. And the husband maybe could not bear the loss. He died afterwards. And some few months later, the child I was asking of died also. But I never knew that the very girl we are talking about went blind. It's alright, that's by the way. Um, we all also look out for a way to fix her in all ramifications. In all ramifications meaning? Unumu please. Did you find any truth in all these lies that she was raped? Hmm. Lord, underestimate young boys of nowadays. Nothing is impossible for them to do. In fact, rape is the smallest thing they can do. So, I think uh, I believe her. My king, are you not scared? If one are to quite did you hear what she said? Her mother is dead. Her father is dead. Her uncle is dead. Who knows if all her neighbors are dead? And you want to bring her into this palace to kill all of us? I am not ready to die young. And I'm not even ready to lose my loving husband. Is that your plans of getting married to her will not work? Who are you fighting? Why are you ranting? What is your day jumping up and down for? What is wrong with you? Are you a stranger in this house? Look, let me tell you. The situation on ground now demands that we take every chance. What situation are you talking about? Tell me! What do you not know? No, no, no. What do you not know? Look. Have you forgotten that medically we've been, we've been declared potent enough to bear children? But what happened? Over the years, we have not been able to have one. And right now, every chance we must take. That we have not been able to have our own child, does it mean it must come from her? I have suggested to you that we should go for an adoption. Let's go for an adoption instead of putting yourself in this mess! Blind subjection. Adoption is a no-no for me. Capital, no! Look, you also have suggested that I should take another wife. But now the question is, how sure are you that when I finally bring in that woman through you, that what is happening now won't continue to happen? 
that girl is not even qualified to be the wife of a sane person. Talk more of a, a royal figure like you. A king for the matter. Do you know what qualifies her? What I am saying is that she will never be my co-wife. You will never marry her. Do you know what qualifies her? She is with a child already. So, I will marry her. Let's see how it goes. I am here. So, Your Majesty. According to the question you asked me, no adopted son will ascend the throne of Abu Mana. But you have the right to take a second wife. I have already planned of taking a second wife. And that person is Vera, the pregnant blind girl. Mm -hmm. Vera. How? Why? Why? Why that blind girl, that pregnant blind of all the medians in this kingdom? reasons are best known to me. As a man, I am free to live my life whichever way I deem fit to. We have um, the scan result which says that she is carrying a male child. So I want to know, regardless the circumstances of his birth, can he ascend the throne of this kingdom. Yes. Yes, he can. But you must discuss this with Lola. I know what we are talking about here is what the traditional permits, not what my Lola will say. My question is. Can that son ascend the throne when I'm no longer there? Yes. When a man decides to pick a woman as a wife, they become one by blood. And when a woman is carrying a child in the womb. The child shares blood with the woman. And the woman shares blood with the father. That means that child shares blood with the husband. Meaning that child is yours. And if finally this blind pregnant girl delivers a baby boy. That boy is your son. And also the son of your first wife. And our tradition permits that. That's all I want to find out. Drink up, let's go for lunch. Ibe, <laughs> I can go with this. <laughs> hey, let me go and enjoy my non-loss delicious cases. <laughs> hey. Oh no, are you aware that His Majesty, my husband, is in a secret plan to get married to that pregnant blind dirty girl? Are you aware? What's it? It's not only a secret. Of course, he told me. And he even asked me if it is traditionally correct to do so. What did you tell me? Of course, I told him yes. 
the one that said no was his plans to go and adopt the child which i know that no adopted child will mount the throne of this kingdom oh no why did you say yes to him because he's traditionally why correct why did you discourage him why would i is this is 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 traditionally correct so you are in support of him taking the blood that is not his as his child no 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 that is not the way you look at it then tell me make me understand because i'm going crazy don't go crazy yet listen if he legally marries that woman that child automatically becomes his a child that has the blood of the mother also has the blood of the father rubbish but the only thing i told him i advised him to ensure that he discusses that with you and have agreement with you oh no well, this is a right nonsense you've spoiled everything already and you're saying all this rubbish to me now mm. oh no oh no will you say rubbish say you rubbish yes that is what you say and you will show sure here from me you will show sure here from me or no you shall so hear from me! Hey! Me or no? You shall hear from me! Speaking rubbish! Even the father of your husband, Nibwe, has not even spoken to me like this. Imagine this year that I've been protected. He has been like you that you said it out of another day and he came back. You are driven you home! Ah! Take it easy. Oh, oh sorry. Take it easy, okay? Um, Jude. Yes, From today, make it a point of duty to always stick around this compound so she can get used to the place, okay? Yes, sir, Modesty. Alright, come, come with me. This way, this way. Come on. You mean you picked that girl by the roadside? Oh yes, um, as I was coming back from my visitation, I saw her begging and um, decided to start to ask questions. After a few words with her, I brought her to the palace. Wow, well that girl is beautiful. I mean, she's amazingly beautiful. She looks so good. Pretty girl. Yeah. But who could have put her in a family way and left her stranded with her blind condition? I don't know. People, people can be wicked. Yeah, was yeah. wicked. It's okay. So, what is your plan about her? Plan? Maybe, let's say the girls have a plan for me. Mm -hmm. I have inquired and um, I was told that I can take in a woman with a child as my wife and when the child is born, he can succeed me. Okay. <laughs> okay. Can't you see that the God has decided to fail for me? It's okay. <laughs> have you seen her? Who? That pregnant, ditty, blind girl, His Majesty, your friend, brought to marry. Oh, 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 yes, I, I, I have seen her and he has equally told me about it also. And what did you advise him to do? What else will I tell him if not to be in agreement with you? And again, to do what is right within the level of the tradition. Apart from tradition, how do you see that dirty pregnant blind girl worthy enough to emerge as one of the royal figure 
How? Um, your Majesty, honestly, we can't remove tradition out of this. And uh, if you ask me, I am of the opinion that this issue should be resolved within the board of you alone, no one else. Please, I need a favor from you. Okay, okay. I, I, I am listening to you. I want you to please talk to His Majesty, your friend. Let him stop all these plans of getting married to this pregnant, dirty, blind girl. Please! Uh, um, your Majesty, he has made up his mind already. Okay? And nothing, nothing can change his mind. Whoever that tries to talk to him will be his greatest enemy. Okay? But, if I may ask, why don't you allow that? Because, the both of you need a child with a condition of grand. And uh, between the both of you, medically, this problem might be coming from one end. And as it stands now, tradition has set its part. We are not talking about tradition here. We're talking about royalty. That girl can never be my co-wife. You see that stinking, dirty, blind, pregnant thing? She can never be my... Second in this palace, she can never. Um, Your Majesty, with all due respect, you don't still have any reasonable point here so far. I, 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 I am yet to to understand you and your plans. Please, Your Majesty, I have to be on my way. Did he just? We shall see. Igwe, Igwe, all she told you is the truth. I am her uncle. I also stand as her father. I feel pity for her. I mean, what kind of animal would have wrecked her in her condition? Okay, that is it. That is just it, your majesty. Is there any way you can trust who that idiot is? Okay. I've searched every nook and cranny looking for that idiot. I couldn't see him. I've tried all I could. I wish I would lay my hands on him. The demon is lucky. Very, very. As you know, I have interest in her. Is there any way the tradition does not support me taking her as my second wife since the child she's carrying is not my blood? Ibe, let me tell you something. Nobody has given me any bright bride. Nobody has given my people shishi. So nobody will say I did not return the bride price or I returned the bride price. And the tradition permits that whoever pays her bride price, whether she's pregnant or not, automatically the mother and child belong to him. Oh yeah, It's um, it's good you understand why I invited you. Igwe, I know, but the final decision is between you and Vera. As for tradition, you are free. Um, Igwe, Igwe, that reminds me. Let me ask you something. Why my niece, my daughter? What? In a bad condition. I, 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 I don't understand. You want to know? Maybe I don't mind if you tell me. I don't mind. I would like to know. <laughs> oh. 
Agatha. Sachin. His Majesty declared his interest in having you as his second wife. His reason is I don't know. How do you say it? Uncle. It's what I've always wanted. At least to just take us out of poverty. Besides, I... I have come to love him. The little while I've been in this palace, he has shown me total love and fullness. Based on the issue that you are pretending to be blind, how are you going to handle that? Of course. I hope you didn't tell them that I'm not blind. So, Chin, why should I do that? <laughs> do you think I'm crazy? No, I cannot do that. I told him everything he told him we are all real. Okay, just leave everything to me and everything will be alright. Hmm? My only stumbling block is the Queen. I feel she doesn't want me in the palace. Listen, the Queen, you have to be careful about her. But let me ask you. Do you truly love His Majesty? Though right from all reason, he's a good man, and these are the things he inherited from his father. Yes, I do. Mm. It's okay. Just be careful. Are you equally asking why you? Uncle, I believe we both know the answer to that. It's okay. No, the God will be with you. Take care. Such a man. You'll be okay. My people, you are welcome. Um, I want to use this opportunity to tell all of you that I am ready to take a second wife. Yes, and um, I know you people must have been wondering why I've been silent about Richardlessness for a long time now. But the gods have answered my prayers. Here with us is Vera. And with her is her uncle. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, my She is the one I want to take in as a second wife. So I called you all here to let you know because you are my kinsman. Um, is there any question? Igwe, <coughs> not at all. You've said it all. The only thing I have to say is that I am a happy man. Thank you very much. Return home and tell your kinsmen what I have said. I will do that. And I shall give to them through you. Thank you very much. Uh, your madness, like this one she is a working stick. What's your problem? It's alright. Um thank you all for coming. I appreciate this. Okay. Thank you. That will never happen. Not in this life and it is over my dead body. Over your dead body that what will happen? That you will marry that pregnant blind girl. Never! You see, your attitude these days makes me to look at you a second time if you are not the enemy in this house. How could you? How could you say such a thing? So it will be a thing of joy to you if, under my watch, my family will lose the royal status because of my inability to have a son who will succeed me when I'm gone. It will not work for you. You give me two options. One, to get a wife. Second, to adopt a son. And I chose the option of getting a second wife. Where are you playing? And have you also forgotten? 
that you promised never to marry a second wife. Even if you would, I would be the one to bring her. Why are you now deviating from our initial agreement? Why? Why are you not drinking? You're shouting at me only because you're my wife. Well, I found her. It will happen over your living body. Let's see how it goes. Sir, your meeting is ready. Oh, thank you very much. It's okay, thank you. Yes. Greetings, your man. Greetings, whatever greetings you have to yourself and listen very attentively. Do you know what is good for you? Of course I know what is good for me. Oh. I'm not a kid. I'm not a mom, I can. I don't think you do. Because if you do, why leaving tomorrow or next, probably to your village, you must, I say, must go with your pregnant Please, did you hear me? Your Majesty, I don't understand. I thought it was an agreement between. There you. was no agreement. You must go with her because she do not belong yet. And where does she belong to? She belongs to a blind, hopeless, classless class. This is a royal class if you don't know. Hey, this. It's a warning you must take seriously whenever you breathe in and out. But your majesty, there, said there is no but. Take my words and live with her, else you will not like me the next time. Excuse me. My knees belong to useless, blind, mm -hmm. fool. Um, Holy Ghost, fire, fire sender. Then can you reach your phone? I was on my way. Sochim, are you going to be safe here? I mean, in this palace. Yes, Uncle. I'm safe. I'm even a hundred percent safe. Why do you ask? How are you going to handle Her Majesty, the Queen? How do you mean? Tell me, why are you asking? Because that woman warned me seriously and threatened me that I should take you out of this place or something drastic will happen to you or I. And I'll be leaving here tomorrow or next. Are we talking about the queen? Yes. That woman is evil. She's brutal. He's ready to do anything. He said, if I don't take you here away, that something drastic will happen to you. I don't want anything to happen to you, please. I don't want anything to happen to you. Uncle, don't worry. I'm fine. I will be fine. Mm -hmm. Nothing will happen to me. I believe the gods that brought me here has a reason. I like your optimism and I pray you'll be okay. If not, why not we go back home and continue our crying and praying? Oh, cool. Don't worry. The cries and prayers are now for others. Hmm? Just relax and wait for the millions of laughter. Hmm? So now, when you go home, relax and have a peaceful sleep. That's my I pray so. I pray so. <laughs> and very soon. Very soon. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. <laughs> like I told you, my people will be there in the next two weeks to come and perform the marriage rites as it's done to take a woman in as a wife. Thank you very much, Yuki. Thank you very much. We will be waiting. You're welcome. Also tell your people that she's in safe hands. It's okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. I'll be great. Thank you. Be... May the gods guide you. He's safe. Childless. He's a childless. He's a childless king. Our 
king is jealous king He's a jealous king He's a jealous king He says your needs can hear but she cannot see Why you can see but cannot hear? How? I don't understand You are living with God by your stupid entity over there Point of correction My niece is not stupid And besides his majesty never gave such instruction I see you would prefer coming back to pick her dead body Sooner than later God forbid Because of our ancestors we never allow anything to happen to my niece Kangwagi, my niece are banyego, but not banyego. Ah ah, oh dear me. Hmm. No. Ah. Have you understood what is going on in the palace? What is it? What is His Majesty talking about? The girl he presented before us. In our last visit to the palace. Kenga, were you deaf? Man, I'm not deaf. Were you not there when he represented the girl to us? And even asked us to accompany him to perform the, 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 the traditional rites? Eh? And you're here now asking me questions. Oh no, I mean what is going on there? That girl in question is blind and pregnant. And what about that? What I mean is that something is seriously not going well for His Majesty to stoop so low in marrying that blind girl. That's what I'm saying. I'm making a point. Why, why, why are you so aggressive? You think that this is a rhetorical question you're asking me? Oibo can as well. Oibo. And let me tell you, the answers lies in the hands of the gods or even the Igwe that is involved. Don't ask me that question again. But what is your problem? I'm just making a point and you are now aggressive. What's your, what's your problem? By the way, what did you come here to do? Is it to drink or to discuss the palace? I'm okay now. Every time we sit down, you will remember to discuss the palace. Every time we sit down, please, don't try it next time. Are you asking? Don't try it next time. What kind of rubbish is that? Is it going to go? I should be asking you. Is it going to go? Every time I sit down to relax, you look at the load you people gave to me, especially you. Am you I, not let me rest. Am I the one that gave you the load? You not let me rest. Look, then you go, then teach him. Do, 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 do this. Do this. And, and all of them are my head. Welcome, let me talk. Eh? If you have overload on your head, go and upload it. Please, don't try it. What the is supposed to carry, go on the road. You are carrying it on your head. If, and I, you're I, if, if I come here to come and enjoy one minute, you'll be you. Okay, my boy, Allah. We take good things. I love more. I love my tongue. Okay. I love my tongue. Welcome. 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 this why you people not to belong to my house now. I hope uh, I'm safe. Oh no, every time you ask me, you are safe. Even if you are not safe, there is no problem. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Why are you always like this? Every time you think you are your ass, you are safe. You see anything you are hiding. <laughs> Forget about that question. Either or no. Anyway, let me not go for that. <laughs> Let's go straight to the point, please. You can't go. I think I can't even see where. Uh huh. Um, no, no, no. We are here to inquire from you. The man they buy is the man going with my order. And they gain so that you will not make a mistake. Make a mistake. You want to find out? Do you know that the Majesty presented to us? What is he really saying about that? What kind of boss is that? When he told us that uh, he's now rich and he's alive, he go and pay the traditional rights of the pregnant lady, Vera. And he's extended his invite to 
all the cabinet members and uh, in the nozzle that were going to accompany him to go and pay the traditional rights and the traditional marriage. So how then? So you need the civilian to want to marry that girl. This is the best part of And he has made it. And that is final. A pregnant girl. And what about that? And they call it blind. You know, blind. I want to know. Is there any tradition in this kingdom or any custom in this kingdom forbidding pregnant and blind people from getting married? No, 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 no I want to find no. out something. No, no, I want to find out something. Upon all the girls in this kingdom and in the neighboring kingdoms and villages, it's a blind pregnant girl that his majesty wants to marry. And you don't see anything wrong in it. That is his personal decision. And you have no right to tell anybody what he wants to do. It's his personal decision or his personal marriage. Are you the one marrying the blind person? Or are you the one marrying the pregnant one? Is she your wife? No. Please. This is personal issue. I have discussed with him. You call it Lola. I have discussed with him. And he has his mind made up to go ahead and marry her. I think. That's his choice. And there's nothing anyone can do about That's it. That's where you fell it. His wife is our wife. His wife is our wife. What are you saying? What? Huh? Stop saying that. I've told you. He has the right to his decisions. And nobody changes it. Don't say that again. We have the right to say that he cannot marry them because his wife is our own wife. Now. The Lord is the mother of everybody. In the exactly. Population. And we cannot have a blind mother. Mm -hmm. Um, isn't it? Something is wrong. The way I look at the handwriting on the wall, something is seriously wrong. Somewhere. I agree with you. Something is I wrong. I still want to ask the both of you that are saying this. Go ahead. Is there anywhere in our tradition? that forbids a pregnant woman or a blind woman from getting married. I also fire the question on you. Is there any way our tradition demands that somebody will marry a pregnant blind woman? Because Tell me. You know why I'm telling you this? You do know why I'm asking you, you this? You know why I'm telling you do this? You know why I'm asking you this? We're back on one of to Oh no. This is a personal decision. Listen to me. Listen to me, both of you. Ulu, I was already preparing to go and meet you for important meetings. No, Ulu, this matter has not ended. Oh no, with the history of this community, you are no with longer the history of this kingdom, no, no king has married a blind woman. How can he be the first king to marry a blind queen? And his mother is for that matter. I'm not saying anything wrong with that. Unless you people will prove otherwise. There's nothing wrong with that. Let me remind you, before you came, I was getting ready to meet you there for important discussion. You are no longer strangers in my house. You know where the gate is. So when you are done, you can leave the gate. So you want to cut out and have to Is that what you're saying? Already. Do I have water in my mouth? Of course, there is water in your mouth. You can hear me very well. The door is open. You know your way out. Either you are wrong or your movement is wrong. Anyway. You can stay. Let me go and take my traditional Look at her, a little poor girl. She's smart, but she is poor. Very bold, a little poor girl. Oh. Why? 
And why have you refused to leave this palace for me? Why have you refused to do that? You pregnant Wait! Oh. 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 Somebody help me! Oh. What happened? Her down. How much has he pushed her down? Why? What for? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Take her down. Take her down. And listen, listen, come, come, come this way. You, hello, listen. The king must not hear this. I said the king must not hear this. He wouldn't be happy if we do not give a clear account if anything happens to her. So, you guys should be careful. Sorry. I'm so sorry. Alright. I'm so sorry. It is obvious that Her Majesty has been a strong bone in everyone's neck in this palace. I don't know why she is doing all this. But it is high time she puts herself in order because tomorrow may be a final judgment against her favor in all this. I'm so sorry. I'm so So you all want to tell me that you are in this palace and can't give an explicit uh, 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 account on, 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 on what made her fall down. Is that what you're trying to tell me? Didn't I tell all of you to keep an eye and take good care of her? Didn't I? And you, Ugo, I personally instructed you to be in charge of taking her around the compound until she masters everywhere. Now look at it. Just pray she doesn't sustain any internal injury. Just pray. All of you, just pray. I'm sorry. Tell me what happened. You can talk to me, right? Now all of you disappear. It's okay. I will send for one of my doctors to come and examine you and make sure that you and the unborn baby are safe, okay? I love you so much. I have lost my home, pride and joy. What will I do now? Gods of our land. No, I must do something.
Now tell me, is that girl well at all? I mean, is she blind and dumb too? Who are you asking? Where are you? Informa! Informa the information minister, why do you ask? She could have opened her mouth and said, what happened to her? You mean she would have opened up to the king and tell him what the law did to her? Yes, she's supposed to say what happened to her instead of putting us all in trouble from the hands of his majesty. No, 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 no. Don't even go there. In fact, the way she handled it was perfect and better. If she had opened up to the king what the law did to her, there would have been trouble in this palace and the seat would have been hot for her. Very, very hot for her. Very, very hot. But truly, Her Majesty is very bad and wicked. Look at the way she pushed that blind, poor, innocent girl. She does not want a tail at all. She does not want to share him with any beggar. But, as you can see, the deal is almost over. There is nothing that can stop the Majesty from what is doing. And nobody can do anything about it. Nobody. Yes, that is true. But my question is, why the blind? And that is the more anger of Her Majesty. My sister, I wonder the same thing. Why our handsome king chose a poor, pregnant, begging girl? <laughs> if she never wanted another woman for the king, she would have given him children long ago. Exactly. So, but wait though, are you sure the fault is from her alone? Who are you asking? Who, Who, else? Else? Who else if not from her? Even if it's not her fault, the ghost might decide to punish her because of her wickedness. Very, very Don't you very know wicked. she's wicked? Sha, sure, I don't know, but the truth of the matter is that His Majesty has really, really fallen in love with that so-called Vera. That is true. I noticed that. My dear, I wish the poor girl good luck. Amen, no. Informer, information minister, any other one? Information receiver. No, I don't want. So we can go. Uh, All right. Ah, no. no. <laughs> I'm so sorry for that incident of yesterday. On the role you played for the sake of peace, as you didn't tell the king exactly what happened to you. It's fine. It wasn't your fault, so you don't need to be deeply sorry. I equally understand. Okay. Thank you for understanding. But see, you have to be careful. You have to be extremely careful with whatever you are doing with Her Majesty. Even the way you go close to her. Because it is obvious that she has raised a war against you. In this palace. She is very brutal, Lord. I can sense it. But you just have to be there for me. Like, I mean, always. So that I don't miss my steps and you know, you know everyone in this palace better than I do. I will. His Majesty only warned me against that. But for Her Majesty, I will kneel her with that nasty behavior when the due time comes. Kneel? How do you want to nail her? See, I have a coverage against her with one stupid guard that stays in this palace whom she converted as her personal driver and his name is Eva. Eva? Yes. And you said he stays in the same quarter with me? Uh, yes, but you wouldn't know him hence you, you can't see. Although he left for a leave, which was for that by Her Majesty. But very soon, he will be back. Yes, I wouldn't know him. 
But I know a person or two that bears that name, ever. Anyways, never mind. So you said this Eva is having something to do with Her Majesty. Yeah, but never mind. See, when the due time comes, I will kneel them with that particular coverage I told you of. Okay? So just know that I'm standing strongly behind you. Huh? Be needing a collective effort from you as one of his cabinet members to stop him from getting married to that pregnant blind girl. Or are you also in support that he marries her? I will not support a thing of that nature, knowing fully well that the girl in question is not up to the class of his majesty. Good. Now you are seeing reasons with me. How then do you intend to play the role to stop them? The only person that can play a greater role is the one. He's the only one His Majesty can listen to in a situation like this. Again, the way I look at the handwriting on the wall, it seemed as if the no is the one that engaged all this plan of His Majesty going for that girl. That's just the way I see it. Then, terminate him while I handle the king. Huh? Terminate? Yes. You mean to kill or no? He wants to terminate my happiness and dignity in this kingdom. Please, I step back. Stop thinking towards that direction. It's an abomination, please. That's by the way. There's something I need to confirm from you. Go ahead. Is it true that if my husband marries her, her child automatically inherits the throne? Mm, yes, it is traditionally recognized. It's okay. You need to promise me something now. And um, what is it? All this that we have discussed here remains between us. No other person must hear this. I promise. Is it you? It's all right. He's a childless, he's a childless king oh, Our king is childless king He's a childless king, he's a childless king He's a childless, he's a childless king He's a childless king, he's a childless king He's a childless king Is it for? I want you to eliminate Onowu for me, please. Again? Onolo, so you are not yet tired? Eh? You are not yet tired about killing Onowu? No, I can't do that. Okay, I know the money is small for you. Yes, I know. I, I will double it for you. I will double it. Please, help me out. Lolo, I am one of His Majesty's cabinet members. Onowu is almost a friend and a brother. I cannot do that. It is an abomination for me to think about killing him. Talk more of killing him himself. Okay. I'll buy you a car. Just name the, 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 the kind of car you want. I'll buy it for you, please. Help me. No, no. Yes. I am sorry. I can't do that. I'm sorry. I can't do that. This is money you're trading now.
Your Majesty, this time you paid me an unexpected visit. I hope all is well. For now, all is still well. It's okay. Let's see it. Oh no! I was soon believing. <sighs> May I be of any help? Good question. Mazio Biako, how much can I give you to make you stop your knees from marrying my husband, the king? Your Majesty, this idea of yours, is this a decision from His Majesty or from you? Take His Majesty, my husband, out of this. I am here for the interest of you and your niece and for the sake of peace. Well, that question will be answered by Vera, not I, since you say your husband should be left out of this. Mazio Biako, do not say I didn't want you. Think about it. Look at her, a little pokey. She's mad, but she is poor. Very amoral, a little pokey. Ah. You. What, what are you doing here? So, so this is where you've been hiding? This is where you've been hiding? After achieving your aim, you were the same guard on leave and also the same guard with Her Majesty. You guys got so lost and you forgot to lock your door. That is not what I'm talking about. How did he get in here? All those questions, you will answer yourself. Look where we both found ourselves. Together, we must see the end of this journey. Are you equally portraying to be blind too? Vera. pregnant dating girl his majesty brought to marry. Have you seen her? Who? Here she comes. Come on, leave me alone! Greetings, her majesty. May death visit your next generation for calling me White Switch. she's blind? Yes. She is totally blind. She cannot even see you standing here. She said so? I know so and you can see it by yourself. She is totally blind. But what is her job and mission here? The king brought her to be his second wife. Just because of that bastard she's carrying in there. Bastard. Hmm. That pregnancy should have a father somewhere. But this is unbelievable. Do you know the father? I'm trying to correct your lines. I mean, but this is unbelievable. Oh, are you are you the father? This is unbelievable. This is unbelievable. This is unbelievable. His Majesty is planning to be her bride price as soon as possible. And you know what? They will surely see hell. Please let's leave. Let's go inside.
So, how did your holiday go? It went well, Your Majesty. And your mom, is she stable now, health wise? Yes. She's doing well, Your Majesty. She's even sending her greetings to you for your concern and care, Your Majesty. I'm happy. I'm happy she's better now. Thank you. You're welcome back once more. Yes, Your Majesty. Yes, I want to use this medium to um, tell you that we added one new person in our midst here. As you can see, she is um, blind and um, you've seen her condition. So everyone in this palace is um, instructed to help her out in everything, especially in um, mastering the environment. So, please, you will also help. Okay? Yes, today she's just like one of you. And tomorrow she may become Her Majesty. <coughs> you, yes, Your Majesty. Welcome. Let me go. Vera. Do you want that? We're in the throne room. Feel at home. Who oh, are you? Why, why did you choose to hide yourself away from everyone? Including me. I was shocked when I overheard Eva referring to you as someone that sees. I thought we had been friends and deserve to know each other better. Oh God. Oh God, I'm sorry. Look, I really intended to tell you. You've been so nice to me, but I was just waiting for the right time. Then, who are you? I only faked my blindness just to provide food for myself and my uncle. But then, every other thing I told you about myself, it's nothing but the truth. And as for Eva, I've known Eva for a very long time. I know him very well and he knows me better than anyone as well. With time, I'm going to let you know my story with Eva. Eva, that dubious guard was your friend. Yes, but that was a long time ago. Does he have an aged mother who is seriously sick now? No, he doesn't. His parents died a long time ago, likewise mine. Um, he just returned from one month later in respect of his aged and sick mother. Ugo, believe me, that's a lie. A big lie. No one knows Eva better than I. Look, like I said, with time, I'm going to tell you everything about Eva. Hmm? Now I will tell you the little I have known about him. Okay. Ugo, you know, Eva is the only one that knows that I can see. And now, you. I know he wouldn't be in a hurry to go and expose me because he knows I will tell everyone about him. So that's why I'm begging you, go. Please, I just want you to keep it a secret. At least, just for a little while. I know you've been so good to me and you are my friend. I also want you to make sure the king doesn't change his mind towards paying my bride price. Because I know the queen will do everything possible to convince him. Never. 
you have won. So far I'm concerned. Thank you. All this game you're playing must end here and now. Yes, it must end. Otherwise, I will tell everyone and expose you that you're not in any way blind. <laughs> Try me! <laughs> you ain't do. You and Her Majesty cannot succeed in this house. Go ahead! Tell them I'm not blind. And I will tell them what you have with Her Majesty. Go! And oh yes. I have a video of your makeout with Her Majesty on the night of your fake return. And I have other of your videos of your sex and romance with Her Majesty. Both the one in this palace and in the hotel room where she lodged you for your one month leave. You think I'm joking? I have all the videos in this form. You can see. Right? You think I'm happy with you all this while? You and Her Majesty conspired and sent away maiden and guards away from this palace. All right. Listen, if you choose not to keep your mouth shut and then you go ahead and announce that I can see, I will tell them what I saw in the palace and then outside the palace and then we can now see who wins and who loses. For your own interest. You better keep your mouth shut. Keep your mouth shut. And and just wash and look at Pharaoh. I'm the other side. Sachima. Uncle. How have you been coping at the palace? Uncle, I'm so, so fine. Although it's not been easy, but everything is fine. <laughs> I know it will not be easy. But the ghost of our ancestor that led you to the palace must surely guide you. I see. <laughs> Uncle, do you remember him? Yes. At the palace? Mm -hmm. The guard at the palace, right? Yes, yes, Uncle. Yeah. This is Ugo. I want you to help me thank him. Ugo has been so helpful. He's always there for me, guiding me and directing me on all the steps to take. He knows everything about me. Hey, uh, my son, how are you? I'm fine, sir. Thank you very much. The God of our ancestors will surely guide you. He said, no, ma'am. Uncle, the main reason I came is to tell you that I found Eva. Eva? Where? At the palace. At the palace? I've been observing you for some time now. You look bothered. What bothers you? Talk to me. What is the problem? What eats you up? Nothing, Your Majesty. Not this time. I know you too well. And I know when you were bothered. Since you came back from the hotel after the one month leave, You've been looking like this, and this is not good for me. I can tell you, I am the one that is supposed to be looking this dull and downcast. Due to the, the, the condition that pregnant blind idiot put me into. Please, go ahead and kiss me. I've missed you so much. Stop. Just come here. Who? Please don't mind that. She doesn't see anything. She just seems not. Hold me. You think so? 
Anúncio! How did it work? <laughs> it was well. In fact, they were so happy. I want to be for follow. You fell in love with our wife. They accepted all the gifts you gave me to bear them. <laughs> so, did you collect this the list? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot miss it. It's a monk. So with this, she will become our wife. Oh. Let them get ready. do now is to prepare the other elders for the journey. Hmm? Okay.
boy can not stop and visit me. Ah. Uh, oh no! Uh, Are you no, going? No. I'm going in. Okay. Here is the bread I brought for you. Uh, okay. Oh, <laughs> oh no, I'm the one that baked this bread. And with a special ingredient, which is good for the elderly ones like you. Oh. <laughs> oh no, do not mind how it looks or how it tastes. Enjoy it. <laughs> this is the bread I and my husband, the king, enjoys too. Because oh. of that special ingredient. Oh, this is royalty. <laughs> royal bread. <laughs> I'm also a royal. Personality. Yes, you can say that again. Uh, no, no. What do I gain if I not eat from my special? It is the animal enjoying it. I'll go and uh, enjoy it. Don't forget, you're also my wife, not because you are Lolo. No, no. Of course, I am your wife. Thank you. My Lolo. No. Oh, no. Thank you. Ah, it's just the family. It's just the not so amazing. <laughs> From my land. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Yes, ma'am. Please, I want you to do me a favor. What's your problem, my dear? I don't want you to eat that bread. How do you know I'm having bread? I I, I thought you are you. Are, I know you are blind. Yes, I am. I, I, I can sense it. I, I just don't want you to eat that bread, please. Do you know what you are talking about? This bread, royalty. No one will prepare this bread specially for elderly people like me. I Do know. Oh no. Okay. Buy yourself another bread, but don't eat this one, please. Hey. Okay, okay, ah. Uh, okay, if you say I should not eat it, okay, I will not. I will not. Thank you. Please take the money, you know. Keep the money. Keep the money. Yeah. You remember. You know, we'll be coming to your place to pay your dowry and uh, do other traditional rites. Take you from your people and bring you to our home. You will join royalty. You now become one of us. <laughs> I know, no. His Majesty and my uncle told me already. So I'll be going back home next tomorrow to prepare for your arrival. Very good. Very good. Remember, God is washing you. He's washing you. Oh, I am a little one, what goes around, more surely comes around. What goes around, more surely comes around. Oko wala wala nenuwa. Oko naga wala wala nenuwa. Lote kwa e e e. Lote kwa e e e.
Uh, no, 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 I'm not, I'm not hungry yet. <sighs> no, no, enjoy your meal. <laughs> Should I pour more water? Okay. okay. I like the way you eat your food. <laughs> <laughs> my king, the love of my life, I love you forever. <laughs> Should I feed you? And I thank them too, to have made you found me worthy of being royalty. You have already added to my existing joy, as you are today one of my wives. And you have given me an everlasting reason to smile. You've restored smile and laughter on my face. This same face that has forgotten how to smile. Thank you for letting me in. And thank you for choosing me. So finally, this pregnant blind girl has entered my home. She is now legally and traditionally married. I can't be alive to watch them. Which? Soul is warm. Yes, Ugo. And I have you to thank for that. Thank you very much, Ugo. Thank you for being a friend. Thank you for always being there for me. I really appreciate. Ah, never mind. All are the will of the gods. Well, I thank the gods for helping you get into this level. I mean this height. I thank them too. And I thank you as well. Hey! Is there anything I will not see in this palace? What are you doing on my matrimonial bed? No, no. My husband asked me to come and wait in his room. So I'm just waiting for my husband to come. Oh, sir? Please! Stand up from there, people! It's my turn to shut No, no! What's, what's going on here? Why are you, why, why, why you trying to embarrass her? 
I came to spend the night in my husband's room. And I saw her lying down here. You are ashamed of yourself. You came in here to spend the night with your darling wife. For how many years have you been spending the night with me? For how many years have you been laying on this same position? What have you been able to do? Because you did not put it in there. Don't be too many. You know me. You know me. If you know that I'm in the traditional custodian of this kingdom, I'm very rugged. I don't enjoy. Now leave this room. I said, Lydia. You're embarrassing me because of that. Don't want to, man. I'm doing it. The gods. I want to appreciate the gods of my ancestors for liberating and setting me free from the shackles of that demon that wants to ruin the future of this kingdom. I have a cow outside, 22 bags of yam. Five bags of rice. Five live chicken. And 20 liters of palm oil. Just to say thank you. Thank you very much, Your Majesty. Your kind heart will be rewarded by the gods of our land. Say. Ah. Eva! Eva! Your Highness! Please come. Your Highness. The items for the gods. Please make sure they are taken to the shrine. Fine one. Okay, tell me what happened. No, 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 my king. I believe the God will surely protect us. How is my son? He's fine. And yourself? I'm fine.
Greetings, Her Majesty. Greetings, Lolo. How are you doing this morning? I'm fine. And how is our next king doing? He's fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, you mean you're not feeling anyhow inside your body system? Not at all. You know I am this caring and um I, I needed to know how my my, my second queen and our uh, future king is doing. <laughs> you know, and may the gods be praised that you two are doing so good. <laughs> I say the gods will keep protecting us. You say <laughs> Okay, um what do you think we expect him? Our next king, our future king. When is his arrival? Very soon. Wow, very soon. Mm. Hey, safe delivery, oh, why are you? Thank you. <laughs> okay, I, I will see you again. Okay, I just came to know how you're faring. Thank you, Lola. Okay. How are you doing today? I'm fine, in my sister. Oh, my son. The baby is fine as well. I just want to tell you that I will be going for my last antenatal because the baby will be here any moment from now. Oh. May God be praised. They have chosen to favor me greatly and put a smile on my face. You see, I can't wait for this baby to come. I can't wait to hear the cry of a baby in this palace. That cry would be a cry of joy. And to the baby that will cry that cry, this throne awaits him. Thank you for coming into my life. I thank the gods. Do you want wine? No. What about juice? Okay. And probably it's true with me. <laughs> Guards! Guards! So after all my effort, this stupid blind fool is still alive? What is happening? Oh? Does it mean the poison is not working at all? What is really happening? I need to know. Okay. I need to try again. And very fast.
Are your games not over? There. Is it not time for you to tell them the truth? How do you mean? What I mean is tell them the truth that you're not blind. And as a matter of fact, tell the majesty who owns this pregnancy. <laughs> and who does this pregnancy belong to? Where are you asking me? I am the father of this pregnancy. May Thunder strike the mouth you used to vomit that trash. Don't even make me remember what you did to me. Do you have what it takes to produce the next king of this village? Do you? Look, this is our home. This is where we belong. And as for you, your days are numbered. So get ready to return to where you came from. Then, watch me. I will expose you soon. Watch me. Okay. Go ahead. Then be prepared to be sacked. Or even banned. Pascal Aver, today shall be your last day. Did you enjoy the meal? Yes. Thank you. I don't know what about you. I did. Thank you. You're welcome. Mikey, why are you rushing? Is everything okay? Oh, yes. Vera, are you okay? Mm-hmm. Easy, but let me know if you're not okay. It's fine. Pregnant blind girl, all to no avail. You don't know how I hate seeing them together. I hate it. Your Majesty, what are the strategies you've tried? I've tried poisoning their food. They will eat and enjoy it, and yet nothing will happen. I don't know what to do again. 
Your Majesty, are, are you sure no one is around while you prepare the poisoned food? Not at all. Besides, no one is allowed inside the throne room uninvited. I am getting confused and I'm suspecting that girl. I am suspecting that she's a witch. Eh? Witch? You should have not encountered a witch before. Is it me? Uh, Your Majesty, I. Never mind, I have something I. Oh, that's not true. It didn't happen like that. Ah, uh, no, I always stay around. <laughs> Look there. It's high time you stopped all this gimmick of yours. And tell His Royal Majesty that you're not blind. Else, I do it myself. I keep watching you spoil things for me. Eva, both of you have not seen anything. You both are yet to see hell. Apart from your stupid affair, I have videos of her trying to poison the king. I have my own data. Both of you are doomed already. We are just waiting for you to blow the whistle first. Then the match begins. Fine. Fine. Now you can go blind for all I care. I'm no longer interested. But please, still tell his royal majesty that your born child belongs to me. Eva, you can't eat your cake and still have it. Vera has told me everything. I don't know why you are so wicked. Why are you a sadist? Listen, you go here, you go. Your cup is filled. Look, this time around, you must lose. Look. In fact, do your worst. Did you hear me? Do your worst. I'm waiting for you. That was a terrible dream. I told you that that girl is a witch. Despite the fact that she can see, she's also after my life. Vera is so. You are finished. Who is she talking to? I told my husband that this girl is insane. I told him, but he couldn't believe me. Hey, point of correction. I am not this girl. I am a royal wife, like you. 
and the carrier of the next king of this kingdom. Since you can't produce, I am the only option in this palace. So it would be nice if you refer to me as Her Majesty, just like you, if Vera is too big to pronounce. So my husband also went ahead to tell you about our reproductive status and you have the guts to mock me with it. He didn't need to tell me. The fact remains that you are barren. How dare you insult me? You're joking. Tell me you're not serious. Eva, are you okay? Are you, are you okay? Talk to me. Or do you need some medical attention? I'm alright, Your Majesty. All what I told you are not forgery. They are facts. That lady you see there is not blind. She sees everything beyond your imagination. And as a matter of fact, her pregnancy is mine. And if you still want me to prove it, I'm ready for a DNA. Gods of this land! Eva! How could you have hidden such a vital information from me all this time? How? Your Majesty, you, you won't understand. Hold it there! I'm angry at this moment! Do you know that all this information is enough reason not to allow her inside this palace? Talk more of becoming the queen! Do you know? You don't understand, Your Majesty. For the fact that I raped her and ran away, it's enough reason for me to, to stay quiet, out of fear. This has no meaning at all. You should have known that I would have done everything within my powers to save you here! No wonder her courage lately. No wonder. Who knows if she must have seen all our atrocities. Who knows? Certainly she has seen them. Hi. She, she, she has told me about it. Everything has gone wrong. If any name may be single already, what would I do? Okay, you have a role to play here. You sure have a role to play here. You have to go for your child because the king cannot have what doesn't belong to him. If he needs a child, he should go for his and not from that girl. Your Majesty, you just have to be careful with what you expose there. Otherwise, she's going to nail us with all the information she has gathered against us. Just get ready to see all that you've just told me now. Get ready! That was all that happened. Excuse me. What, 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 what exactly are you talking about? You can see me? Yes, Your Majesty. I can see. Then why the pretense all this while? Your Majesty, everything I told you about myself we nothing but the truth, except for my fake blindness. I just used it as a strategy to survive. And it was this same strategy that located me to you. I'm sorry to have deceived you. <sighs> and Eva, what did he do to you? Never mind. 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 Never mind.
Look at these people. In Eva's mind, he thinks that he have seen an angel. Hey! And the other one, look at. He even thinks that he have caught a big bush meat. Look at them, look at them, look at. Hey! My guy, I'm not. Oh, not gonna lie, now I bite I need to go and look for another friend. That's just the truth. I'll look for another friend. Look at him. this guy. I'm not going. <laughs> ah, Vera. Look, I am so happy that you finally accepted me into your life. Even though I know you gave me tough time. <laughs> it's not like that. It's, yeah. it's it's just that that's how I behave to every man. Because you know how men are to women. They are so wicked. But all the same, thanks for being there for me. Uh, <laughs> you don't have to mention. Don't mention at all. <laughs> See, I should be the one thanking you. Because I love you so much with the depth of my heart. And I'm ready to die for you. Sincerely speaking, <laughs> true to God. <laughs> because I love you so much with the depth of my heart. And I'm ready to spend the rest of my life with you. Oh, true to God. <laughs> really? <laughs> But ah. will your parents agree? Because you know how the villagers see me. They see me as an Obanji. Ah, don't mind them. Don't mind them. Do they have sense? Look, let me tell you the truth. Every pretty girl seems to them to be an Obanji before their very eyes. But as far as I'm concerned, I am a very rigid man. I make the decision for myself. <laughs> <laughs> see, I love you. Don't mind them. See, let me be frank with you. I am who I am by the grace of God. And your existence is a mystery before me. <laughs> Since you're the only one that understands. Ah, no, I understand. I'm a very understanding man. As, as far as I'm concerned, this community knows very well that I'm very understanding. So you don't have to bother yourself. Eh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, I'm so happy knowing you today. Ah, finally, you can smile with me. <laughs> ah, and come to think of it, don't you know or have you forgotten that my parents are late? Eh? Okay, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, but you see the mix of uh, orphan versus orphan. Hey, child. Hey. No. <laughs> orphan versus orphan. But even if they existed, eh, they cannot stop me from handling a pretty girl like you. <laughs> they can't. They don't bond them well. <laughs> Let me tell you very, very well, Vera. Hmm? Let me tell you one thing. Do you know that the kind of love I have for you? I'm ready to die before you die. <laughs> That's the way I love you. <laughs> ah. Hey, so good. Hey. Hey, 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 you know, we, we need to start with this. Eh? But when money comes, I will give you AC. <laughs> Then I knew right there you were the one. <laughs> and I was cut up ah, with a visible attraction. But to my satisfaction, baby, you more than that. And if I ever fall in love with you, baby. And I will be sure that you're ready to be my friend. Oh! <laughs> have a seat, my darling. Have a seat, my darling. Okay, sing one, sing one. I'll sing one. Okay. All right. I can sleep last night. I turned to turn, listening on the telephone, and I got your calling at my door. Can't even call my name. And as a matter of fact, you blew my mind, you couldn't talk to me. I don't go like you, a dream comes true, I live up fantasy. Oh, I don't believe like you! <laughs> See, let me tell you something. The moment I saw you, I couldn't just hold myself. As you can see, every girl in this village loves me. But I said to myself, Nehi Acha, I ain't gonna love any girl. You know why? Because I know who I am. But the moment I saw you, I was loyal to that princess. Uh, look, let me tell you one thing. See, God punished poverty. 
Yes. I will never allow poverty come closer to you. God, God forbid. Look, it's better I die finding money to make sure I lavish it on you. Can you see I'm wearing red? This red is fire. Fire for fire. <laughs> <laughs> see, I am ready to die for you. Just to make sure you will enjoy the outflows of life. <laughs> see, you can see how I'm ready already. I'm already ready for, for enjoyment. And I want you to enjoy more than I do. <laughs> <laughs> see, you deserve the best. You're everything I want in this life. You understand? Even God knows that you deserve the best. Yes. Actually, I'm telling you the truth. Sochim, what are you actually doing with that boy? He's my friend, uncle, and we're in a relationship. With that boy? Eh? Sochim, if you must do that, must it be so obvious? It was so open, everybody can see you. Uncle, I'm sorry, it was a mistake. Sochima. 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 Have you forgotten so soon the condition you are into? Have you forgotten the circumstance behind your bed? Sochima. Sochima. Please, listen and listen again. Don't relate with anybody that will not add any value to your life. Are you with me? Okay. It's okay. Can you smile now? I'm so good. I'm so good. I'm so good. Um, Eva, hmm? I have seen how serious you are going around. That girl called Vera. I have seen how serious you are with her. Stop following that girl. That girl is not your man. So forget about that girl and look for another person. All this your effort is going to be in vain. Huh? You are just wasting your time. Ogeki in a Yeah. My yeah. man. Yeah. What is your name? Obi now. Look, I, I don't think you are acting like Obi of your father. Let me tell you something. It seems you don't know me. Obi? What do you mean by, by all these lines you are giving me? See, let me tell you. Are you new in this village? Are you new? Everybody in this village knows that that girl, she's a wanje. So you go in there, it will not go into war. Ha! Ha! Make sure no. Keep quiet! It seems you don't know me. Who are you? When here Look, I am that Eva Ariyage Herimba. One of this community. Look, I am going to make sure I get her. Because I am that person that doesn't give up until I get what I want. And so, Abia. Watch me now! Get if I'm watch you Eh? She's difficult to get. So you better go and look for another person. As far as I'm concerned, I am the one that can reach out to that girl. So long as I'm concerned, I die there. I'm going to get her. Look, let me let me be frank with you. That girl, as far as I'm concerned, I am going to show her love. Okay, madam. There's something on you bond you They are they are said this, they, they talk about phantom fountain of love i am going to display that love upon her and she will have no choice but to fall on me men, men no love eh? go on hey you know, no I'm, love. I'm, I'm the fan boy no pimples up my hand at home neighbor don't worry look, let me let me be frank with you. look wherever she is i'm going to put my head there and i'm die there you will die there oh. okay. watch me and i'll get her which problem which problem 
Are, are you the creator of the problem? So, Wadra, let us watch and see. Look, 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 stop giving me heat because as, as far as I'm concerned, I'm thinking of how to buy an AC for that beautiful girl. AC? Eh? Stop looking, just AC in a baby. Do you have AC in your house? Ha! Okay. Eh? So, you go look mad AC. Is, is it your concern? It is only terrorists that will not sacrifice love to other people, but they will sacrifice it themselves. Stop acting like a terrorist. If they can use Mr. So Wadra. The terrorist. That girl will put you in trouble that you will not you she, will not come. She will out. not give me any trouble. She will not give me any trouble. Welcome. Just leave me alone the way I am. Leave me. I'm, I'm your friend though. Which friend? I'm your friend. Watch though. me and see. I now. know what I'm saying. Watch though. me and see you. Okay, okay. Look, stop giving me heat. I've warned you. Stop giving me when heat. Are you a problem. Let me tell you something. No, you don't know. Fine guys like me are the kind of guys that deserves her. Mm -hmm. And that is why I always make sure I take my bath every one hour. As far as I'm concerned, we waited for too long. Let me go have another bath. As far as you are too you are smelling, you know. Eh? You are chilling. Eh? I don't need a friend like you. Am I smelling? Let me go and take my bath and come back for her again. No problem now. Let's go. Eva. Eva, I've told you that I've not had anything to do with a man before. You're the first person I'm having an affair with. Eva, just just give me more time. What, what, what other time do you want me to give to you? Eh? What other time do you want me to give to you? Do you know I do you know I'm a man? Eh? Do you know the kind of pains that is going through my scope room? Eva. Eva, just be patient. I'm, I'm not ready. I'm scared. Eva, if you love me, just wait for me a little. Oh, you mean you? I love you, but you don't want to reciprocate your own love to me, eh? Oh, what kind of patience do you want? Patience? Where, where is it? Where, where is she from? When you don't want to endure that kind of patience and allow me to, 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 to do what I'm supposed to do as a man? In short, I don't even understand all this. I'm going. Eva. Eva, please wait. Eva! What? What is it? What? What? Eva, please wait now. What did I do to you? Why are you even angry? Okay, I'm sorry. What is it you've done? What is it you've not done? Eh? After all this while, a beautiful girl like you, up to now, nothing had happened. And you're still telling me I shouldn't be angry. It's not long enough for me to be angry. Eva. Eva, I don't like how you're sounding. You're sounding like you don't even love me and you're just showing me fake love. Eh? What did you just say? That I have not showered enough love on, upon you. That all this time I've invested in you. Gave you all the time. Gave you gifts. All the, the time I've invested in you that other girls have, have not even get, had that time for. I gave it to you and you're telling me it's not enough for me to, 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 to show love. Eva, Eva, please just wait for me. I told you, just be patient, please. Eh, I should be patient, eh? Oh, Allah. I'm still patient. That's why I'm moving now. Look, look at him. Agua, mi agua. I told him that that girl is a woman girl. There is nobody, as in no guy in this village that she will accept. But she said, and then, uh, uh, she, she will accept me. I love her. Me, this and that. You think you are smart. Smart boy. Look, look, look at the way he's, he's walking. Look at him. Look at him. Niu, unyera. Nenye, unyera, unyera. Bye-bye here. Bye-bye. Who is that? Oh, Eva. Eva. How are you? I'm okay. I just want to take a shower. You want to take a shower? Yes. I'm coming. Vera, is, is your uncle around? No, no, no. I'm coming. Are you telling Rapa? Eva, I want to take a shower. I'm coming. Oh, I got, I got a gift for you. I just want to give you a very nice perfume. Okay, just give me 10 minutes or 5. But, but your uncle is not around. No, Eva, I'm coming. I better, let me just give you this perfume. 
Ifa, what are you doing here? Uh, if I just want to give you this. Ifa, if just take it easy. You know, this perfume will go well with you and I. Ifa, please just go. Can't you see that no. I want to dress? C calm down, calm down. Just calm down. It is me, Eva. You will like it. Eva, what you, are you doing? You will like it. Calm down. Eva, please just leave me alone and go. You like it. You like it. Eva, Eva, stop. Hold on. Eva, stop it. Shut. Don't touch me. Eva, don't touch me. Don't touch me. Eva! Stop, 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 Eva. Eva, stop it. Eva. You will like it. Calm down. Oh, Eva, stop, no. please. I'm don't, begging don't you. Don't pretend you don't like it. Eva, stop. Don't pretend you don't like it. Eva, Sachin! Sachin! You are pregnant! Sachin, my dear man! Who pregnanted you? I am talking to you! Who pregnanted you? Hi! Sachin, my boom! Sachin, my boom! Hi! She naked me! Who has done this to you? Just look at me! Look at us! Hey, look! Look at our kitchen! Nothing! No food! Nothing! Hey! Oh, man, I'm watching you, boom, boom! So, Chima, you are my last hope! You finished me! Hey! Boom, boom! Oh, yeah, baby, yeah! So, Chima, I'm talking to you! Oh, yeah, baby, yeah! Hey! Hey! Oh, be a coin like a nine! Sochi, you mean Eva raped you? Yes, Uncle. He deceived me. Eva. Eva! No, you can never go scot free. No, obispa mu obi akko, mu ke mu ki re pro, u cha tra. No, mu ba. Ana me kwa. Hai, mu ba na me kwa. Mu ba na na da. Ah! Ya ya da ma mu. No ta ta. Why did he dress like this? I'm tired. I'm really tired. So I'm going to seek for help from people before we die of hunger. To beg? Yes, to beg. Then why did you disguise yourself like a blind woman? Because the help will come faster. Ah, such a man. The ghost is not created a blind woman. Uncle, I just have to do something. If they didn't create me a blind woman, did they also create me the suffering type? I'm tired. I'm going, Uncle.
I was so surprised to see Eva in the palace. After what he did to me. Your Majesty, I'm so sorry for this side of my life. I'm still whatever you know me as. Please forgive me. Moreover, I'm, I'm happy to be married to you. Where is she? Oh, you're here. Only is she an also? So you can see and you'll be pretending to be blind. Have you seen your life? Look at what you brought in here as a wife. A woman with a total fake life. any atom of fear you are having an affair with my wife under my nose and you you knew it all all this way and you never mentioned it to me I am sorry your majesty my keeping silence was due to fear of conspiracy allegation and sack as both has done in the past to serve the guards and the maiden. So it got so bad that you had to start an affair with my guard. I'm sorry, my king. Please forgive me. And even you, Ralph. Your Majesty, honestly, I thought of it. But I felt telling you will spoil your mood the more. My own queen, my wife, descend so low to death, my God. I'm sorry, my king. Please forgive me. Arrow. Abomination. That's what you have committed. Sacrilege! It's quite unfortunate and unimaginable. Your Majesty. I, I am deeply sorry for what I've done. But can I ask you one favor, please? Can I have my child back? May Chanda strike you dead for opening your mouth to say such. Who is your child? After what you put me through? This is where we belong. Even in my next world, I pray not to have something to do with you or anyone close to you. It is not possible that you will have the child. Not possible. Child! Well, I don't know. I don't know. What, what is it you see doing on your head? You don't know what you have done. You don't even know the magnitude of what you have committed. Go to your family and ask the elders of your family. The punishment of the sacrilege you have committed in this palace! And you are asking for a song. Some will get back. Eva or whatever you call yourself. Do you even have conscience at all? Do you have conscience? After all that you did, you are here demanding for a child. Eh? Wicked soul. What did I ever do to you, Tina? I married you and showered you with so much love. I protected you. Why? The my, betrayal. My king, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I'm sorry. Please don't know where I'm here, begging. Sorry, sorry, sorry. To worsen it all, you wanted me to be What did I do to you? That is so much. I'm sorry. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry. Oh yeah. 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 Oh yeah.
Oh, he told me I heard this kid on Oh yeah. Send it. Send Can't thank them enough as well. Can't imagine that that I'm in the arms of my love, the king, which is you. My heart will forever beat for you, my king. I can't wait for our son to come. <laughs> and then we're going to have him in our arms. Yes, yes. <laughs> His father's friend. <laughs> I love you so much, my heart desire. And I love you too, my king. Oh. <laughs> he just kicked again. Wait. Okay, wait. just put your hands here. Ah, <laughs> he said that. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, son. We can't wait to have you. Mom, who make a name? Mom, who make a name? Eh? Bumme! Bumme! Okay, Rosie! Okay, Robinago! 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 Banuzunako, <laughs> <laughs> what about you? Huh? I, I support her. I support her. <laughs> mm. You are welcome to the high spirit of Udele. But you have to know one thing. Two things are involved in life. It's either you lose or you get. <laughs> I'm <laughs> I love you, son. We can't go to have you. Can you see? Can you see? Can you see? Can you 
Forgiving you, I've forgiven you too. May the gods also forgive you. This world is really unbelievable. Who knows that one day Lola will become blind? Your Majesty, I'm, I'm sorry. I see you are the thief we have in this palace. Others are sleeping, but you decided to come and look for what to steal. No, no, Your Majesty, I'm not a thief. Come on, get out of here if I lose my mind. So tell me, how did this money get into your bag? I swear, Your Majesty, I don't know how come of it. My king, is that not part of the mint recently withdrew from the bank? Yes, it is. But what I don't know is if it's the one in my room or the one in yours. Now answer me. Wasn't it from my room that you stole this money? <laughs> Your Majesty, the gods are my witness. I have not entered your room. Please believe me. Adaba, yuri, ona ako, ona that means you're a thief. No, Your Majesty. When something that does not belong to you is found in your custody, open your cable. Are you not a thief? Your Majesty, please. You have to believe me. No, Your hey, Majesty. Your, please your believe Majesty, me. Take this thief and keep him where he belongs. Your Majesty, please. Your Majesty, please. Your Majesty, please. <laughs> And to all of you, this same thing will happen to anyone who behaves like this. Go to Maguchi first. Good morning, sir. Good morning. I was asked to bring these two people here. They say they offended you. Young man! Who are you? My name is Mr. Ube from this village. As you can see, they are wrong. Please, listen to them and have mercy. <laughs> oh, no, please forgive us. Forgive me, oh, forgive me for trying to kill me, oh no, please. Ah! <laughs> it was the handwork of the devil, please. Oh no, oh, please forgive me. <laughs> <laughs> you brought these two abominable people into my compound. After all the sacrileges you both committed in the palace. You have the infantry to bring your filthy, abominable legs into my compound! Oh, have mercy on them. 
please. My Lord. Please. You even tried to kill me. I cannot stop amusing you. Ah, she's uh, Oh no! Uh, Are you no, going? No. I'm going in. Okay. Here is the bread I brought for you. Uh, okay. Oh, <laughs> oh no, I'm the one that baked this bread. And with a special ingredient, which is good for the elderly ones like you. Oh. <laughs> oh no, do not mind how it looks or how it tastes. Enjoy it. <laughs> this is the bread yeah. I and my husband, the king, enjoy too. Because oh. of that special ingredient. Oh, this is royalty. <laughs> royal bread. <laughs> I'm also a royal yeah. Can say that again. Yes, you can say that again. <laughs> no, no. What do I gain if I not eat from my special? It is the animal enjoying it. I'll go and uh, enjoy it. Don't forget. You're also my wife, not because uh, you are Lolo. Of course, <laughs> I am your wife. Uh, my Lolo. Oh no, thank you. Ah, my regards to the family. This today will not stop amazing me. From my land. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Yes, ma'am. Please, I want you to do me a favor. What you for, my dear? I don't want you to eat that bread. How do you know I'm having bread? I, I, I thought you are. You are, I know you are blind. Yes, I am. I, I, I can sense it. I, I just don't want you to eat that bread, please. Do you know what you are talking about? This bread, royalty. No one will prepare this bread specially for elderly people like me. I Do know. Oh no. Okay. Buy yourself another bread, but don't eat this one, please. Hey. Okay, okay, uh, okay. If you say I should not eat it, okay, I will not. I will not. Thank you. Please take the money, you know. Keep the money. Keep the money. Yeah. You remember. You know, we'll be coming to your place to pay your dowry and uh, do other traditional rites. Take you from your people and bring you to our home. You will join royalty. You now become one of us. <laughs> I know, no. His Majesty and my uncle told me already. So I'll be going back home next tomorrow to prepare for your arrival. Very good. Till then. But thank the gods of our land 
for bringing in somebody who you thought is nobody and she saved my life you gave me bread very what you ate very good for the elders like me as if you loved me i never knew you were planning to kill me you you i don't know who you are but you say you're from this community you are from this kingdom and i don't know how you cannot hear the abominable act these two people did in the in the in, 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 in in the palace and even to that extent they desecrated the holiness and the sanctity of that throne and you brought them anyway i don't even know who opened my gate for you i don't know hmm. for the sake of our gods and our ancestors i will forgive you but the gods must judge your actions By the time you came, you blocked me. I was going somewhere. Please. Please. When you are done with this, your crocodile uh, tears, eh? You know the way you came in. I'm off. These two people somewhere and they pleaded with me to take them to some people's houses. The people they offended, as you see them, they are blind. They really need your help. Please listen to them. My king, please forgive me. Forgive us, please. Where are you there? Please forgive us. We went to the native doctor to kill you and Vera. <laughs> what about you? Huh? Um, I suppose that. Uh, she us and made us blind. <laughs> the native doctor said <laughs> we must go and apologize to everyone we've wronged, or especially you and Vera, so that we can regain our sight. We have we have already apologized to <laughs> the two ladies and no more. My king, please forgive us. Take this, Papa. Come on, 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 you wish you were fucking dead. Yes, my kid. You are forgiven. <laughs> and may the gods forgive you too. He said, Thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry. <laughs>